Amongst the African American communities, Islam, I mean, Islam has come as far as an indigenous group of people to the African Americans. It's estimated 45, 50% of the Muslims in America now are African Americans. And Islam as a, as a spiritual teaching and as a practice is transforming these people in a very serious way. They still have enormous obstacles because of the social situation they still are in and they still face. But there is transformation going on and, and we see now emerging from these people and we'll see more of it, people with great wisdom and clarity for expressing and articulating Islam and articulating solutions to American problems that will surprise people. So I'm, I'm saying, you know, as teachers, look for the people that you can communicate with about Islam. Amongst the African Americans, there'll be some really amazing people that you can communicate and bring to your students or take your students to. Amongst the children of the immigrants now in UCLA, I was just at UCLA a few, month, UCLA a few months ago, the Muslim Students Association there is headed by Ben Wang. You know, that's the head of the group. And if you look at the group, they are all children of immigrants, children of Arabs, children of Pakistanis. There's Chinese, there's Arabs. They're, they're, they're just this enormous mix. And they're out being very active in the community. They're starting uh, uh, free clinics, and they're doing uh, tutorial programs for incarcerated youth. They're publishing newspapers. They're out speaking to the public. That's going to be on the rise. Those people are also the kind of people that you can communicate with and that you can take your students to and your, your students can come to and so forth. Um, so I just want to, to add to what Hamza said, it's, it's an amazing time and it's, it's a process that's in the, in the midst of changing. Someone, one of the demographers, one of the people who gave the demographics uh, recently uh, suggested, I may, may or may not be accurate, that it, within the last two years, the number of immigrant Muslims and the number of indigenous Muslims, the number of indigenous Muslims surpassed the number of immigrant Muslims. That's just a recent phenomena. So it means we're at a kind of turning point. We're at a point now in which Islam is emerging out of the American society as an American phenomena, which it will continue to be. So our understanding and, and, and understanding of the foundations and all that we've been trying to give you here is, is important in, in managing all this. Is it my turn? Yeah. <laughs> um, of course, 